How could a game designed for kids make a grown man rage like this? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna break something because of this game, bro. I'm telling you. Man, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. Well, Sackboy has its devious ways of being a very challenging platinum, and we're about to see how. Okay, so here we are in Sackboy. I haven't ever played this game, but I've played the little Big Planet games one and two, and I've also played three, but that one was kind of bad. But this should be cool. It's a challenging game, and my first step is to play through normally, getting collectibles, things of that nature, um, miscellaneous trophies as well. So we're gonna do this first playthrough, and and like see what the game is like you know have fun with it and then we'll start working on some of the other things once we finish that the first playthrough was fairly easy you go through levels fight some bosses get some trophies and it's as simple as that the game reminds me a lot of astro's playroom and if you've played that and you enjoyed that you'll probably enjoy this as well but it's not as easy as astro's playroom as we'll see later on after beating the game you're introduced to one more area but it requires 220 dream orbs in order to unlock which meant i had to go back and replay a lot of the levels to get the ones that i had missed out on and so i went through the process of going through the levels collecting those dream that i missed until i finally unlocked it and by the time i got here i had 20 of the really easy story trophies already all right i finally unlocked the or about to unlock it right now 220 dream orbs and we can get the trophy i don't know i don't know exactly what the trophy is for but um i know i have to complete these levels here and of course i need 275 like even if i get all the bubbles on these three levels i don't even know where i'm supposed to get other ones i've pretty much gotten almost every single one besides the co-op levels but there's not that many i don't know that last level right there seems to be the last one i don't know we'll see on the grind to the 275 dream orbs i ended up unlocking various different trophies that i wasn't even going for oh i got golden boy earn gold on the scoreboard in 50 different levels let's go amazing ace Ace 30 levels by completing them without dying. I had to plug in my second controller because I have no friends to play co-op with me and I ended up getting some of those trophies too. Oh, fun multiplied. And multiplayer complete a teamwork level, okay. Slap attack. Simultaneously slap each other, okay. At this point, I still hadn't experienced the difficult trophies that I've heard so much about in this game. I was really excited to take them on, but we'll get there. In the meantime, I kept grinding my way to the 275 Dream Orbs because I need to get that last level unlocked for a trophy. There are also time trials in this game that give you orbs, so I went through all of those trying to do my best and score the highest scores possible. It took a while, but I finally made it to the level. This might be the hardest one in the game just because of all the things they're throwing at you at one time, and I was actually in danger of failing the level. Okay, now I take control of this platform. The, the cool thing about this is you tilt the controller in the direction that you want the uh, the platform to move. It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to control and you fall off like that, of course. Crap. Oh my gosh, no. All right, we got two lives left. I don't know how much longer this level lasts. Go, go, go. Oh, that was close. No, 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 no. Oh! No, no, okay, okay. If I actually die here, I'm gonna have to restart the entire level and that's gonna be very annoying. This part is actually quite difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Go, go, go. Oh! Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, okay, I made it across. I made it across. Let's go. Why is this level so long is the question. Oh, I died. All right, this is my last life. I can't die if I, but I feel like I'm right at the end. And like, if I die here, it's literally... Like, I'm done. I'm cooked. I have to restart the entire thing. Please don't happen to me. I'm about to get the trophy. Oh, I, ju I barely jumped over that. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this, this is the end. That was close. Came down to the wire. <laughs> yes. Wonder Plane Workout. Next up, I had to tackle miscellaneous trophies for cleanup. Like this one where I had to pick up and throw 30 of Vex's minions to their doom. Let's go, out of bounds. And this one where I have to pick up and hold a beehive for 60 seconds. So we're gonna lure these bees over here. And then, yeah, they, they explode. Go back and, okay, more spawned in. There we go. Go back and grab the hive with R2. And now we just have to run around and hold it for 60 seconds. Now they're gonna keep spawning out of the hive. So if they hit me, then it's gonna make me drop it and that'll be tragic. So we're gonna just do our best to it like basically train them around this like this area like if i'm playing cod zombies or something and keep going what the heck what happened all right well luckily for us there's another one 
finally. There's also a trophy for filling your wardrobe with 300 costume pieces. This is a very easy way to do this if you're playing this game. Go to the PlayStation Store and download every single free costume that they have and those will add the pieces to your set and then you can just get the trophy when you load back in. Oh, look, that worked. Walk-in wardrobe. I didn't have to purchase any of them in-game. Okay. Now, here's for a huge announcement. I created this timeline with some of the world's hardest platinum trophies. And at every new subscriber milestone from 300k to 1 million, I will be playing one of these games. And for the 900k and 1 million subscriber milestones, just know, it doesn't get any worse than these two. Now, on to the multiplayer trophies. A lot of these can be done with a second controller, but it's better just to do it with a real person. What I did was play with a subscriber, and he helped me get most of these, so thank you so much. And a lot of the trophies are very simple, like doing a dance party. First off, you want to say hi to the vid? Yo, what's up, guys? Okay, so we have to face each other, and then press down on the D-pad, so... And then there is... <laughs> Let's twist again. You got it too? Yeah, I got it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Stealing an item from their hand. High-fiving a friend. And I think the hardest multiplayer trophy was to beat 10 levels without any of us dying. Not that it was actually hard, but you know, one death, you have to restart the level. Kind of annoying, but with time, you'll get it done. Ah, oh, I got it. Best friends. Now we're getting really close to that one super hard trophy that I was scared of. But before that, we have to get this one where we pick up multiple items throughout the levels. You go in, grab, the game saves, you don't even have to finish the level, and you get the trophy. Alright, so in this little time trial is the last item I need for the trophy. So, I'm simply just gonna, it's right there in this top left corner. Jump up here. Attempt to jump up here and grab it. And there it is, player's player. Here it is, the final trophy before the platinum and the hardest one by far. In this game, there are several time trials you can do. And for this trophy, it combines every single time trial in the game into one full run. And you have to get the whole thing done under 10 minutes. In Sackboy, you can only take damage once. The second time you take damage, you're dead. So not only do I have to be fast, but I also have to limit damage. This right here was stressing me out. This is my first attempt at this trial that this right here is the hardest trophy in the game. This is what causes people to quit right here. So we're going to see what my first attempt is like. The goal is to not take any damage at all. I hated this one the most. Oh, I took damage. No! Well, I died four minutes into the run. Th this trophy is going to be... A living nightmare. On this attempt, I actually made it pretty far on the run, around the seven minute mark, so close to being done. No! Oh my gosh, bro. And then came the real frustration. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna break something because of this game, bro. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. Man, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. I wasn't even trying to get the fastest time. I was obviously trying to be fast, but I really just wanted to complete it. Because if I beat it once, then I can see where I went wrong and try to get a faster time. But I was severely struggling to make it to the end so i kept trying over and over and over this is the furthest i've ever made it come on come on oh my gosh i took damage i'm one shot no oh my gosh man several attempts later i made it here again but i was one shot come on this is the furthest i've made it oh! like man i don't know if i can ever beat this i i don't know if it's possible to beat this this is actually insane Despite my lack of confidence, I was so close. I just have to keep trying, that's it. And then I made it back after some practice. What the heck? I genuinely don't know how I took damage there, but I have to be extremely careful because if I do it again, it's over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this right here. At this point, I was extremely scared because this was my best attempt ever and all it would take is one missed jump to ruin it all. And when my nerves get high, I tend to make the silliest mistakes. 
No, I'm not risking that. I'm not risking that. Adventurer, Sackboy Platinum Trophy, done! If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy seeing me speedrun Astro's Playroom's Platinum as well. If so, you can press here on the screen to watch.